What's up guys, welcome back to another playthrough series. This time we're gonna be playing Potion Explosion. I'm gonna be playing an unofficial solo version of the game. It's kind of like Solitaire, where this is really just about scoring points, and then, you know, you're basically just playing against yourself. At the end of the series, you'll see my score, and then maybe you could play the version, and we could compare, and you could try to beat me. If you haven't played Potion Explosion before, I'm not going to go over every single rule, but you will get a really good sense of how the game plays, what type of game it is, and you can decide if you like it or not. So the game comes with eight different potions, and when you play the game regularly, you only pick six. These are the two potions that I'm going to discard from the game. The one on the left involves stealing ingredients from an opponent, which we don't have in this, and the one on the right is just a little complicated, so to simplify things, we're just going to go with all the easy potions. Mix them all up here, and we've got to get them into a big mess, I guess. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so here they are, all in a pile. <laughs> uh, now we just have to put these into five semi-equal piles. When I was divvying up these piles, I selected the first two starting potions that I saw, and the starting potions are the ones with a little gold star. This is the dispenser, filled with all the ingredients, represented by the different colored marbles. On the left are the skill tokens, and I'm going to use these to count down the different rounds. So in the solo mode, we're going to play 10 rounds, and these skill tokens on the left here will help me keep track of that. The tokens on the right are the need a little help token, and you can use that to pick one extra ingredient but as you can see, it says minus two, so you get subtracted points when you use one of those. This is the back of the rule book, and this is just a nice reference for the names of all the potions and what they do when you use them. The objective of the game is just to fill up our potions. And as you can see, we need every single color, red, yellow, blue, and black. And if you never played this, I'm just gonna start playing and you'll pick up on the rules and I'll explain things as we go, but we're just gonna dive right in and get this going. So here's the dispenser, and what I'm gonna do right up front is I'm gonna take one of these little help tokens. So this will subtract two points from my final score, but it allows me to take one free ingredient. So I'm gonna pick this yellow one right here. So the reason I did that was now, when I pick my real ingredient, the one that's regular on my turn, this yellow one, now those two black marbles collided, and that means I get to take those. And the blue ones collided too, so I get to take those. So every time a marble of the same color hits another marble of that color, you get to keep those marbles. And now I get to assign them to my potions. So we filled up our potions pretty nicely, and we have one blue ingredient left in our pool that we get to keep, and you can keep up to three. We've already completed this potion. We're going to take these marbles, put them back in the dispenser, and then flip this over. So that's worth four points, and it's now complete. I'm going to put these marbles back in the dispenser. If they don't fill, you just kind of move them until they go into a slot. Now we get to pick another potion. I'm going to take this one. Seems lucky. <laughs> For the solo mode, to change up the dispenser, because there's only one person playing, we're going to take the bottom ingredient from every row and just put them back at the top. And that kind of keeps the landscape changing as we go. So we just finished the first round and I put a skill token there to remind myself that round one is now over. Now we're on to round two and we get to pick again. Here's where we're at on the dispenser. And actually I'm gonna use that potion. If we flip it upside down to mark that we used it. And this is the Potion of Magnetical Attraction. It says, take two adjacent ingredients of different colors from the same slide track of the dispenser. And this does not trigger any explosions. So I'm gonna pick this black and blue marbles. Uh, and now, as you can see, this opens me up real nice. Take this black one, the reds hit, so I get to take all four of those. And those two blacks just hit, so I'm gonna take those. Look at that, that's a nice, Hall. <laughs> so we now get to apply these to our potions. And we have two reds left over, which is nice. And hey, look at that, we completed one. We're gonna put these back in the dispenser. Flip this over, hey, it's done. It's worth five points, which is great. And we get to pick a new potion. But you wanna try to get five different types of potion and then you want to get three of a kind as much as you can. 
Now it's the end of the round, so we're gonna take one from the bottom of each track, put them back in the dispenser, and I'm gonna take one of these tokens, put it here to mark that we just finished round two. Now we're on to the third round. All right, here's what we got. Uh, I'm actually gonna use my brand new potion, put it upside down, and that is called the Potion of Wisdom, and you just simply take one ingredient of your choice from the dispenser, and no explosions are triggered. So this is just another free one. I'm gonna take this red one, which sets me up really nicely. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So I'm gonna take the red one and the two blacks hit. So I take those and the yellows hit. So I take those and the blues hit. So I take all of those. Whew, I love this game. It's so satisfying. All right, that is a great haul. And we're gonna fill up quite nicely. Missing one, so frustrating. And I have all these extras, so I get to pick which one of these I wanna keep. I'm gonna keep this black one. And we finish this potion, so we take these ingredients, put them back in the dispenser, flip this guy over, worth seven points. Get to pick a new potion. I love the solo mode because it goes so fast. Gonna put my marbles back. Make sure they fit. Yeah, that was nice. And we're gonna pick one from the bottom because it's the end of the round. Change up the dispenser. Put those back. Make sure they fit somewhere. All right, and that was the end of the third round. So I'm gonna put the third token there. So I need some red and some more black. Here's where we're at on the dispenser. I'm gonna use my latest potion. It's called the Balm of Uttermost Stickiness. Take two or more adjacent ingredients of the same color from the same slide track of the dispenser. All right, so I'm gonna take these three blacks. I need some of those. And for my regular pick, I'm going to select this blue one. And those yellows hit, so I get to take all of those. The last one. Nice little group. So what's great is I already had these waiting over here, so I can fill those up from my pool, put them on my new potions, and then fill up the rest with what I just got. Not too bad. I have these left over. I need to decide which of these th I'm going to keep. That's pretty great. I just completed two potions. That one's worth five points. And this one had a lot. And that's because it was worth ten points. So I get to pick two new potions to fill up. I'm gonna take the bottom marble from each track because it's the end of the round. Oh, it's so satisfying. Gonna take another skill token to mark that it is now the end of the fourth round. All right, so I need lots of yellow. Two red, two black, which I already have one. So here's where we're at. Uh, I'm gonna use another potion which is called Abysmal Draft. Take up to one ingredient of each color from the bottom row of the dispenser slide tracks. You can only take one ingredient from each slide track. I can take this black, and I can only take one of these yellows, and then I can take the blue, because you only get one of each color. Now for my regular pick, I'm gonna go with this red, and those two reds hit, so I get those, and that, those yellows just hit, so I get to take those. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Ten marbles. And we're going to move these over from our pool. And then add in the ones we just got. And we have exactly three left over. Look at that. It was literally a perfect round. So we put all of these, whoops, back into the dispenser. We flip this over. 
five points and eight points. Get to pick two new potions. Now we're gonna go for three of a kind because we already have five different ones and this will come into play at the end of the series. So we got two of these, they're both worth four points. We're gonna take the bottom ingredient from each track. Nice. And that was the end of the fifth round. So we are halfway there. I think this is a good time to pause. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode to see what my score is, how I did, and uh, let me know what you guys think of this solo mode. It's kind of fun, and I'll be making more content soon.